It's my great pleasure to meet you again in our semantics class. In this occasion, we are going to concentrate on adjective clause as the follow-up of noun clause that we have discussed so far. To refresh our mind of what clause is, we had better remember that there are two types of clause. Independent clause, that is, the clause that can stand by itself. And dependent clause or subordinate clause or relative clause that cannot stand by themselves. Even though both of these types of clauses have the same construction, subject, verb, or SV construction, but they are different in terms of meaning. Now let's go ahead. There are two types of dependent clauses, subordinate clauses, or relative clauses. Noun clause that we have discussed so far, adjective clause that we are now currently talking about it, and adverb clause that we are going to talk about after this class is over. Now, what is adjective clause? Adjective clause is a clause that functions as an adjective to modify the noun. Now, let us see from the smallest level of grammar of adjective. Smart is an adjective. It can modify woman. Smart woman. This is in the level of race. But it can be extended to the higher level of grammar that we call adjective clause. The woman who is smart. Now, before we go further, let us try to understand first that the formations of adjective clause are based on the uses of relative clause or relative pronoun, such as what, that, which, why, when, where, who, what, which, how, whose, and who. That is why adjective clause are sometimes called relative clauses. Whenever we use adjective clauses, they can take the positions of subject and object. Now coming back to our previous example, smart woman the woman who is very smart yes actually is the woman but we want to give information about the woman that is why we say the woman who is very smart however whenever we use the woman who is very smart it requires more information and that is why we use it by saying for example the woman who is very smart majors in linguistics if we didn't use for example majors in linguistics we did not need to use who is very smart we just say smart woman In this example, we can see that this sentence derived from two sentences. The woman is very smart. The woman measures in linguistics. So in order to reduce two sentences, we can combine them by using adjective clause to form a single sentence the woman 
who is very smart, majors in linguistics. Now, adjective clause here takes the position of subject. Now, it can take the position of object. In a sentence, I don't know about whom the information is. Or I can also say, I don't know who the information is about. Of course, I don't try to use all of the relative pronouns in forming adjective clauses. I will just give you some examples. Now let us try to use another relative clause, what. They report about what the government has recently issued has been widely disseminated. Right? So this is the subject of a sentence or as an object. People are curious to know the report about the latest development of corona pandemic. Another one Whose the students whose car are being parked out there are Americans. Okay. Those or the students using whose can also take the position of object. Let us try to find out the students whose car are being parked out there. One more example, or maybe more. Let us use relative pronoun why. The reason why he quits his job is the fact that he works under pressure. As an object, he didn't give a report why he quit his job to his boss. This is an object. When the timetable when the school begins has not been designed yet. As an object. We don't know yet our schedule when to leave for Singapore. Which the projects which have to be prioritized will be soon announced by the government. As an object, let us try to study carefully the project which has to be conducted by foreign companies. There are more, of course, adjective clause that can be formed by using relative pronouns, but this is your work to produce more relative uh, clauses using relative pronouns as your exercises. Now the next thing. Sometimes noun is directly 
modified by adjective clause such as the man who lives next door is my professor who yes lives next door directly modifies the man in this case you don't need to separate the man from who but sometimes adjective clause modifier the entire clause where you use comma for instance the students from developing countries who applies for scholarship are given priority it's important to understand that the students are not directly modified by who apply for scholarship yes but it is closely followed by developing countries but developing countries is not modified by who clarifies the scholarship so actually the adjective clause who amplify for scholarship does not modify countries rather the students in this case we have to use yes comma the students from developing countries comma who apply for scholarship comma this is something how you can use the two types of the function of adjective clause another one uh, clauses can be with uh, preposition say for example the professor whom I do research with is my lecturer or it can also be expressed in another way the professor I do yes research with is my lecturer another one I don't believe yes whom he said as an intelligent man is I don't believe the man who is said as an intelligent man all right but however once again you don't have to get confused because of the use of preposition like in you know I don't know about whom the information is or I don't know who the information is about the following important thing that you need to remember is that clauses as subject or object can be reduced for example Hilda and Lily who graduated from Harvard universities were my classmates
This can be reduced. Hilda and Lily graduating from Harvard universities were my classmates. The girl who is seated next to John is Mary. The girl seated next to John is Mary. This is a reduction of our adjective clause in the position of subject. Similarly, I like the book that you gave me. It can be reduced by saying, I like the book you gave me. So, relative pronoun that can be omitted. I always remember the hilarious story that once you told me. It can be reduced by saying, I always remember the hilarious story that you gave me once. It's very important for you to understand this. So the reduction is okay. Now you know sometimes it is not easy to yes, use a relative pronoun in adjective clauses because it can be repeatedly used but they don't function the same. For example, the thing that matters is that which gives us a solution to the problem. The things that matters is non close. Yes? The things that matters that the second death is not the same as the first death. The second death is just like something. That is why it is followed by which. Yes? The thing that matters is that which gives us a solution. Is that which gives us a solution. That thing which gives us a solution. So, this is just an adjective clause yes, modifying that that function as something. This is why we use which. Okay? So, we have to be careful about how Every single relative pronoun functions in adjective clause. Just before I give an end to my class, I want to give you some home assignments, namely to produce more sentences using adjective clauses. Of course, all of them. They can be in either active or passive. Next time we are going to talk about the last phrase, namely adverb phrase. I thank you for your great enthusiasm. See you later. Goodbye.